Okay, I was gonna show you guys this little vaporizer in action. Um, this is kind of loosely based on the Pro Vape 110 vaporizer. Um, it's a lot more compact. I got rid of the digital temperature controller and just put a temperature switch in. It's controlled that it turns off the heater at about it's right at 400 degrees south or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And it turns it back on around. Uh, I think it's around 360 370 degrees Fahrenheit so it heats up in about two to three minutes and then after that you can vaporize the hive about every minute with it so I'm just gonna show it in action so you'll notice I have a little indicator light here when the light is off it's at temperature you'll notice when I put the oxalic acid in it'll cool off the heater enough that it will turn back on and then once that light turns back off the charge has been spent into the hive and you can do the next one this first one might be a little bit slower because it had cooled off a little bit before it we put the charge in but most of the rest of them they should cook off pretty quick So at 400 degrees, your oxalic acid should be fully cooked out and ready for your next charge. You'll see you'll get a lot of vapor at first until the temperature cools off below the sublimation temperature. And then it'll kind of catch back up as the heater catches up to the temperature again. charge I know in the videos this little light sometimes flickers um, I think that has to do with frame rate and the frequency of the electricity but it doesn't flicker in real life So that last charge was 24 seconds from the time I put in the, the oxalic acid and the time it was cooked off. So there you go.